Applying to medical school for me was such a challenge because firstly, I have no A-levels. I've got no GCSE sciences behind my name. I only said the BMAT and the GAMSAT, so there was no UCAT universities that I would apply to. Now, for me personally, I did not have a fifth option because I already hold a nursing degree. So my main aim was obviously to get into medical school. So as much as applying to Oxford or Cambridge, sounds enticing because they are known to be very prestigious um, universities especially for medicine i wasn't going to waste my time applying to these medical schools because i already knew that i don't stand a chance so why waste my options applying to these universities when i know they will not even call me for an interview the way i looked at this is it does not matter what medical school you are going to be accepted into because at the end of the day if you go to oxford university and i go to leicester medical school at the end of the day we are all going to be qualified doctors that's just the way i look at it okay? welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing well thank you so much for joining me once again back onto my channel my name is belinda and if you've not already subscribed please don't forget to press the subscribe button as well as turn on your notification bell so that you get a notification every time i upload so today guys once again i'm coming back with another medical school video guys in this specific video guys i'm going to tell you guys or rather carry you guys how i chose my four medical schools here in the uk i'm going to give you a bit of tips and advice in regards to choosing medical school how to go about it okay so in my previous video guys i did a gamset and a bmat video i'm also going into detail as to why i didn't take the ucat exam so if you are interested please go ahead and watch that video it gives you a sort of an in detail in regards to my gamset and bmat experience if not please stay tuned for this video because in this video guys i'm going to talk to you guys about how i went ahead and chose my medical schools here in the uk so if you are interested um then please keep on watching so in this specific video guys we're just going to talk about how i went ahead and chose my medical schools here in the UK because I feel like choosing the four medical schools is very very important that you are 100% certain that you do stand a chance into getting a space um, into these medical schools when you apply through the UCAS. So first things first, unlike nursing, the time I applied to a nursing school, I could apply to five universities because that was allowed. However, with medicine, you only can apply to four medical schools and then your fifth option basically needs to be something else. Normally people go for biomedical sciences or anything along that line that will link them up in the near future to be able to apply to medical schools, if that makes any sense. Now for me personally, I did not have a fifth option because I already hold a nursing degree so my main aim was obviously to get into medical school no other sort of undergraduate program or postgraduate program it was medicine mainly so for me there was no fifth option if I didn't get in this time around into a medical school then I was gonna try again next year okay because I just didn't want it if it was not medicine it wasn't going to be anything at all so obviously the first thing that you will be doing when you are looking at applying to medical school you will be looking at factors such as the type of teaching method maybe you're looking at the universities that are close by to where you are staying or residing rather maybe you're looking at the campus life if your fellow mates are going there um or maybe it's sort of a prestige university however the fact of the matter is what's the point of looking at these type of factors when applying to medical school however you do not meet the entry requirements for those specific medical schools so which basically means that you have missed one out of four um, chances of actually get into medical school if that makes any sense now I'm gonna tell you guys about things that I did not consider when applying so for me first things first I didn't consider the type of teaching method okay so I believe if I'm not mistaken in the UK um, medical schools have three types of teaching methods okay they have the traditional way so basically it is two years of class-based theory no clinical placement so wouldn't be any sort of clinical placements involved so the time i did my research i believe that oxford and cambridge are the two universities that deliver this type of teaching method and then you also got the pbl which is the problem based learning so once again according to my knowledge it is basically where you are given medical cases and you need to work in a group um, in regards to solving these 
cases. So most universities in the UK deliver this type of teaching. It is said that it is a good way of teaching because it allows you to basically develop working in a team if that makes any sense and then the third type of teaching is integrated teaching i believe most universities once again deliver this type of teaching which basically it involves problem-based learning as well as practical skill which basically means that as a medical student you get to go on placements earlier and you get to interact with patients so you basically do both of these conjoined if that makes any sense all right so those are the three types of teaching in the uk in regards to medical schools now for me i'm the type of person what type of teaching the university delivered was immaterial to me so once again other factors that i didn't consider is the assessment how will i be assessed i'm not too bothered about that how i will be marked obviously falls into how i will be assessed as well which hospital would the university send me to for clinical placement i remember when i applied to nursing i also thought to myself if i applied to this university which hospital would i most likely be sent to for clinical placements once again guys that for me was immaterial as well also i didn't take into account whether i like the university or not so all of these above factors that i've mentioned did not contribute in any sort of way or form in regards to how i was going to go about applying for medical school in the uk because i am the type of person that i will adapt to any sort of situation now that is something that you will have to assess yourself individually so for me it was just a matter of will i get in it was a matter of considering all of these other factors because all of these other factors were immaterial to me okay the way i looked at this is it does not matter what medical school you are going to be accepted into because at the end of the day if you go to oxford university and i go to leicester medical school at the end of the day we are all going to be qualified doctors that's just the way i look at it so when choosing any type of medical school you need to know your individualized strength i've mentioned that before you need to assess yourself so the way i went about it and what i would advise anybody to do is ask yourself what are my strengths that will boost my application in order to get a space in that specific medical school okay so you need to look at the entry requirements what do they require and then ask yourself whether you meet those requirements so for example with me applying to medical school was such a challenge because firstly i have no a levels i've got no gcse sciences behind my name so i do not have any ucat school because obviously i do not sit the ucat exams and once again in my previous video i did mention as to why i did not sit the ucat so automatically i've already started cutting down firstly all the ucat um, universities so that means basically that i'm narrowing down my options so for instance if you didn't set the bmat or the gamsat and you only set the ucat then you would obviously only be applying to ucat universities i only set the bmat and the gamsat so there was no ucat universities that i would apply to okay. so for me the strength i looked at my personal statement i gave a very strong personal statement i happen to believe my personal statement indicated all my academic achievements from the access course to nursing to my nursing degree to the access course to medicine in addition to that i gave my work experience working as a registered nurse in a and &E, so i included that now that's not applicable per se some universities don't even look at personal statements okay however i believe that the university that i applied to and that i got into for graduate entry medicine which is nottingham university they look at your personal statement which would form part of the pre-interview stage okay so i had to really put out a strong statement in addition to that i obviously got a first class in my nursing degree which is obviously immaterial to some universities because most universities if you are applying for graduate entry require you to have a 2-1 the nottingham university i believe required you to have a 2-2 but sometimes if you do come across having a first class obviously once again it, it boosts your application okay you can't really say it doesn't boost but it will it plays a factor somehow somewhere okay i didn't access course to medicine okay so that one is also something that played a big role into it i sat the gamsat exam which i really did very well i scored in my 75th percentile so that's good good we're going with good all right i said the bmat exam which i didn't do too well in but still landed me an interview with brighton sussex medical school i am a registered nurse in the uk i have any &E experience in addition to that i also got my gcse english and mathematics which is standard at level six so most medical schools i believe are looking at level six yes i think so 
please don't quote me on that so these are my personal strengths that will help me boost my application in regards to choosing medical schools if that makes any sense so like i mentioned before how i went about doing this is i personally set the gamsat and the bmat exam so initially because i set the gamsat and the bmat automatically i would only be applying to gamsat and bmat medical schools which narrows it down now i've created a list of gamsat universities and i've also created a list of BMAT universities. I'm going to try and insert them somewhere on the screen, okay? Now, how I went again narrowing it down is I went ahead and checked which universities or which medical schools require A levels, okay? And I cut those out. Then I went ahead and looked at medical schools that require GCSE physics, GCSE biology, and GCSE sciences. Once again, I don't have so I can't go ahead and apply to those medical schools. So just a quick disclaimer, although I did the access course to medicine, the access course to medicine is almost like A level, but it's not. In access course to medicine, we covered A level content. Okay, so we covered the A level sciences. So physics, biology, chemistry, mathematics. Um, yeah, that's what we covered basically. So although I did the access course to medicine, not all universities accept the access course to medicine from specific colleges or institutions. So once again, I had to go about applying strategically in regards to which universities will accept the access course to medicine obtained in Brighton College. So going down to the four medical schools that I applied to. So I basically applied to one undergraduate medical school which was Brighton Sussex Medical School five years. Okay reason being is because I did the access course to medicine in Brighton which they have affiliated links to which means I already had a guaranteed interview. Reason for me having a guaranteed interview is due to the access course to medicine that I did down in Brighton. I feel like that's the way they draw you in, in regards to going to doing the access course. For me personally, that was one of the reasons why I decided to go and do the access course in Brighton, mainly because of the guaranteed interview. So once again, in Brighton Sussex Medical School, no A-levels required if you did the access course to medicine. GCSE English and Mathematics are required at a level six. They don't really look at your personal statement per se for them personal statement is really immaterial however just because a personal statement is immaterial when applying to medical school does not necessarily mean you have to give them a crappy personal statement because once again you never know whether that personal statement could possibly boost your application if it comes to choosing between you and another candidate maybe that's when the personal statement comes into play because once again guys we are not there when they are actually doing the initial assessment in regards to whether they will take you or not now i said the bmat i didn't do too well like all the other candidates but it still landed me an interview and once again the type of teaching for me was immaterial so that was the first university i applied to that required the bmat and only the bmat all the other three are all gamsat universities so once again they are all graduate entry medicine so they are the four-year program rather than the five-year program so the three other universities i applied to was nottingham university nottingham university is one of the universities that uses the gamsat exam okay so for me gamsat exam was not not too bad so my overall gamsat score was 66 so i just made into the 75th percentile i did mention that in my previous video they do not look at the a level or the access course because obviously at that point in time i already hold a undergraduate degree in nursing which i obtained a first class nottingham requires you to have a 2-2 in your undergraduate program now the only disadvantage with nottingham university is the gamsat exam many people find it very difficult to sit the gamsat exam i found it very difficult as well because it took me quite some time to prepare for the GAMSAT exam. In addition to that, I obviously sat the GAMSAT exam a year before I actually applied because the GAMSAT exam score rather is valid for two years. So at that point in time, I already had some sort of an idea what my score is and how I went applying for it. So I applied in 2021. However, I sat my exam the year before, if that makes any sense. The second university that I applied to was St. George's University in London. Once again, that's for the graduate entry medicine. The GCSE not applicable, so there's no minimum regards to applying, so that was alright for me. Undergraduate degree, they required you to have a 2-1, and you can have a degree from any sort of subject. It's immaterial, it doesn't necessarily have to be in the healthcare line, if that makes any sense. So one of the requirements is to score a 50 in each section of the GAMSAT. So once again, for me, that was all right. So I could apply for that as well. The first school that I applied to guys is Swansea. Swansea Medical School, far out of my normal sort of environment. Okay, however, if they were gonna say to me, Belinda, we're taking you, you best believe I was gonna pack my bags and go down to Swansea because why not? 
Do you know what I mean? Swansea Medical School was literally going to be my last option. So with Swansea, they needed you to have GCSE English and Mathematics at its grade C. And um, once again, a 2-1 in your undergraduate degree. Once again, this could be a degree from any sort of subject. And also interviews are given to those who get a good GAMSAT score. So in regards to Swansea Medical School, guys, they do require for you to score 50 in each section of the GAMSAT exam. But obviously you would want to score higher because obviously the higher you score, the more likely you are going to get an interview in accordance to how they rank. So basically these are the four uh, medical schools that I applied to. Like I said, I did not have a fifth option. I did not want a fifth option. So I got an interview in Brighton Sussex Medical School. I also got an interview in Nottingham University. Obviously Nottingham University was my first option because it is graduate entry medicine and it is only a four year program. So I decided to do the four years then the five years so i got my interview and i got my unconditional offer for nottingham university for graduate entry medicine so like i said at the beginning i looked and applied to universities that i feel like i stand a greater chance into them accepting me onto the program because at the end of the day medical school is medical school okay that's my personal opinion so guys this basically brings me to the end of my video please don't forget to comment like and subscribe i hope these medical school videos are useful to some extent i just wanted to carry guys through how i went about applying to medical schools in the uk in my next video guys i'm gonna be finding a way to break down each section of the GAMSAT exam, how I went about studying for the GAMSAT exam. So I'm going to try and break it down in the three sections so that you guys can get some sort of idea in regards to the resources I use, how I went about studying for them, etc, etc, etc. So that is what I'm going to discuss in my next videos coming out. So guys, if you are interested, then stay tuned for those videos. But for now, guys, this brings me to the end of my video. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. And I will hopefully, hopefully, hopefully see you guys in my next video video. Bye.